Hey Nim Tags and welcome back. This is Ash from Heal My PC. So today I'm fixing a laptop, a Windows 10 laptop, which after an update went uh, crashed and uh, wouldn't want to reboot. So this belongs to my cousin Jamila. Shout out to you. This is a laptop from PCSpecialist.co.uk. I may do a review on it. Didn't get money from them. I'm not recommending them specifically. I just thought I'd do a review because this is one website where you can actually configure your own laptop, which we did about over a year ago. So it's working fine. Now, her PC crashed after an update, wouldn't turn back on, and uh, she rebooted a couple of times, got a message to say Windows didn't recover properly, so she didn't know what to do to go into the Windows Advanced Options, so I'm doing this right now. Now, there are two ways you can access this. If you get the message, and like you see right now, we are trying to reset this PC. If you get a message to say to go in Windows Advanced Options, that's what you should do. The other way which I would re actually recommend would be to get yourself a Windows installation media tool uh, in form of a USB disk and you can do this easily, go to their website, download and install the application on a clean and uh, free USB disk and keep that with you. This one was a Windows 7 PC, 32-bit, we upgraded to Windows 10, 64-bit Home Premium Edition. So right now, this is doing some resetting. And uh, the first option we tried, obviously, was to try and uh, start the PC with Windows' own start repair system, which did not work. Now we are resetting this PC by keeping the files and uh, reinstalling Windows, I think, or something like that. If that doesn't work, we're going to do a third thing. So stay tuned. Let me show you what we have as symptoms when we turn it on. So basically, laptop turns on. And tells me there's a problem please wait and uh, we can do this if you get this you can try to see advanced repair options just select that let's see if it's going to fix it and uh, go down to troubleshoot and go down to advanced options and the first thing you're going to want to try is go to start up repair fix problems that are keeping windows from loading and select the account that you want right it's got a password right so now it's going to do a diagnosing PC test self now you can also do this I'm going to show you afterwards uh, by using this key which should bring you to the same options okay so grab your USB media installation disk plug it into one of the free USB ports and uh, press and hold the power button for a few seconds to turn it on and immediately look for your boot option. In my case, it's gonna be F7. And we're gonna go into boot to select the right boot disk. So this is the Kingston Data Traveler. I hope you can see this. Let me just, hopefully you can zoom in, yep. So I'm gonna select Kingston Data Traveler and uh, hopefully it should start Windows logo. Okay. Right now it's saying to us, setup could not repair your PC. You can shut down or you can go to the advanced option to see if there's another selection. This is kind of a waste of time, to be honest with you. I would rather not do this, but I'm just showing you, just in case you don't have this disk and what you could try and do. Um, you could also try to reset your PC to a last, um, you could try this one. L let's you choose to keep or remove your files and reinstall Windows, reset the PC. So you could try that, what it will do. Um, if you want to keep your files, it will reset the PC. So select that and let's see if that works. Now resetting the PC, make sure it's plugged in, yada, 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 yep. We're going to click on reset. And now it's resetting this PC. So hopefully it'll give us some sort of uh, success story. Hope you guys can see. I'm going to leave it on to play, to see what happens. So this took about 10 minutes and it restarted the OS by installing Windows again. So remember, I have showed you two methods of accessing the advanced options. One is through Windows own repair system, which normally will appear after two unsuccessful attempts at starting the PC normally. The second option, which is my personal recommendation, is to use the installation USB disk created with the media creation tool. Either way, it should take you to the same advanced options screen. It looks like this reset was successful. 
Remember that this is essentially reinstalling Windows, but keeping your personal files intact for the most part. The last resort would be to completely reinstall Windows by selecting Reset this PC and choosing Remove Everything option. One thing I forgot to show was a Restore to a last known working point in time, which is located in Advanced Options and System Restore. This could be your second repair option after Startup Repair. Hopefully I will do a better and clearer video than this one. Forgive the awful editing structure since I had done this unchecked footage prior to my Mauritius trip. That's the end of today's video. Guys, I have been a full-time carer in the last three weeks to a close family member who just had major surgery, which is why I haven't been able to upload much. But rest assured, I have a lot of video uploads coming up and as you may or may not have noticed, although I shot this using the iPhone 5 in a hurry before I traveled, I actually edited it using Lightworks for the very first time, not the usual Windows Live Movie Maker. Lightworks is a free professional editing software and I even found a way to upload it at 1080p, which is a workaround. If you guys want to learn how to use this software, let me know down below. Granted, I have a long learning curve ahead, but hopefully you guys will tag along patiently and I am yet to use my Canon 1300D and the other equipment for a much higher quality video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Check out a few other vids on my channel and consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. As always, it was a pleasure. This was Ash from Heal My PC and until next time, peace out.